We all love the good old engine and one of its biggest concerns is if it is or not better than Unity. They are super different engines in mostly any aspect, programming language, open source nature, etc. But at the same time they are probably the two most used engines currently. However, Godot has three key points at least that are the reason why currently Godot may be crashing Unity. Let's check these points out in this video. The first point is more developers. So here this graphic shows the game engines that were used uh, to create over 7000 games for the GMTK game jams in 2023. Basically, you probably already know what game jams are and what GMTK game jams more specifically are as well. But for those who may not know, basically game jams are events in which you can sign up and they are following some specific theme or uh, some basically instructions that they give you. Uh, you have to create some games and you can submit them. In this case, this, this I would say that GMTK is one of the biggest game jumps in all the game development world. So because as you can see, you have they had over seven thousand games. Um, so yes, it is quite it is quite a big event. So the data that comes from that it is quite relevant. As you can see, it was, it was held something like one year ago in July, and this was before the Unity debacle, okay? Because you remember that all this Unity thing with the runtime fee happened in something like August, September. So it was even uh, before that. Um, so here the image that we have has the results before the Unity thing that lots of people stopped using it. So, um, and even though... Uh, it was before the Unity runtime fee issue. There were lots of people that used the Godot engine. As you can see, of course, Unity is the most wa worldwide used engine with over 60% of the games submitted with it. Uh, but we can see Godot with over 20%. And I'm sure that uh, I think that GMT uh, Game Champ 2024 is quite, it's going to be soon done. So probably I would say that at least 25% uh, of the games are going to be made with the without engine. Now we have over 5% with Game Maker and uh, other, basically maybe these are other engines or people that didn't use any engine at all. That is something like other 20% uh, or at least a little less than that. But yes, I really want to make clear here that this was before the Unity runtime fee debacle. Uh, and as you probably know, lots of people started to migrate from Unity to Godot. And I would say that at least 10% of developers of Unity completely switched from Unity to Godot. There have even been complete projects that are being merged from Unity to the Godot engine. Because Unity, uh, don't, Unity developers don't have lots of trust in now the company. And it's quite understandable, I would say. So yeah, basically we'll see what turns up in GMTK Game Jam 2024, but for sure, for sure I can tell you that Godot developers will be much, much more than in 2023, I would say something like 25% at least. Now I found this other table that could be quite useful. This basically compares the, uh, used, the usages of the different engines throughout the years in this same um, in this same game chart. So as you can see here in 2023, we have the same results that uh, we had in, um, in the same photo. But uh, what is quite important here is that, for example, in 2020, Unity had over 62% of the market and without only 12% of it. And actually, uh, Game Maker, for example, now from in just three years, uh, basically has the half of the users. Why? I would say that probably most of Game Maker, maybe developers, uh, started using Godot and here we can see that Godot in 2020 had over 12% uh, sorry and here uh, 19 what is something similar to like the double of it it's like something like 70 75 more and on the other hand Unity is going 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 down of course they are super far away it, it's like something like three times more if we compare it to Godot and let's not even talk about Game Maker um, but these numbers are still super encouraging to go out because in something like three years they were able to like double the amount of users that uh, they used to go out in their game jumps and even as i told in 2024 they are going to be probably more and more so the point here is that more and more developers uh, are starting to use the without engine maybe they are new developers or they are directly um developers from other engines that uh started to use 
without for different reasons because of simplicity because of the open source nature etc but the the point here is that more and more developers are using the without engine because you can see it's one of the there aren't lots of other categories that are going up the second point is basically going to be open source nature. This is directly connected to the previous discussion about more and more developers using Groot. And basically after all the issue with Unity, dozens of games being migrated from Unity to Groot, and dozens of developers are the same way migrating from Unity to Groot. Of course, uh, Groot, thanks to its open source nature, was probably the best option to switch to. And the good thing about this is that... Um, neither today nor tomorrow nor any time in the future without will be owned by some kinds of company because it's its code is over there on the internet it is owned by the community there's actually no let's say established company behind it even though there are of course some developers even some developers that are paying in order to develop on that but basically everything is owned uh, by the community because most revenue from Godot comes directly from sponsorships or some donations that they have so basically the point here is that Groot will never have some kind of problem uh, as Unity had because it's impossible right now that Groot starts charging money for your games or that they start charging money for every installation that your game has. It is literally impossible. So as developers, having that confidence, uh, being that relax that you will never have to deal with those kind of problems is amazing and also not only do we access let's say um that freedom that uh, feeling of relaxation that uh, you will never be um, facing any kind of issue as unity had um but also the fact that you are not being you don't have to pay any kind of license when you're selling your game see that's a matter if your game has one million dollars of gross revenue you don't have to pay a penny to anybody so i think that probably that is super super amazing for literally all all developers three constant updates of course unity is receiving updates uh of course there are some bug fixes yes of course we all know that but we don't have them so frequently and probably that is also because it is also quite built in engine so there could be much less points to correct or to make better than there are in Godot because Godot has much less years in the in the market and uh, well there are always some suggestions that the community want to add because there are still lots of work that have to be done in the Godot engine to actually make it let's say as perfect as possible but the thing here is that Godot literally weekly or at least every 10 days is releasing some kinds of updates with some bug fixes with some new feature and nowadays we are super accustomed to receiving new things to being super dynamic to always have something new to take a look at so if basically people always stick to let's say the same interface if people always take, stick to the same programming language that doesn't evolve etc of course those are are things that play against unity and play in favor of the without engine it is always receiving constant updates in literally all sections of the engine in the ui in the scripts in language in the script in literally every every section that con that is within without and that is something amazing because you are never bored you you never become bored because of the engine there are always new things that you can check out and overall i think that the management that has been made so far with Godot, with the new features etc has been super super good so there you have it without growing developer community open source nature and constant updates make this a strong contender against unity more developers are joining the Godot community, especially with events like the GMTK Game Jam showcasing its potential. Its open source nature means anyone can contribute, improving it continuously. Plus, with regular updates, Godot is always evolving and getting better. These key points are why many think Godot is surpassing Unity. It's an exciting time for game development with more choices and possibilities than ever. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on the next one and bye bye.